a full face of base first impressions let's go i did a little spinny on look fantastic because i really wanted to try these products out my face goes so red it's embarrassing but we're starting off using the hourglass primer that retails for 64 pounds i've got in with my normal skincare so i can see if the primer works and see if the makeup actually works I trust these products with my life, so we can generally see if these products work. I normally go in with MAC Studio Radiance, but because we're trying out a new primer today, we're going to see if it is replaceable. The packaging is so sleek, it feels so luxurious. And as written word for word on Look Fantastic, this product claims to drench your complexion in moisture. This is meant to be so hydrating. <laughs> That smells absolutely incredible. It's got lavender in and 14 essential oils. It feels extremely smooth. Let's place her onto the skin. She's kind of got the same feeling as my MAC Studio Radiance. So this could be a really good sign. Oh my God, my skin looks crazy. Look at my skin. Wow. She also has a tacky feeling. I want to bring you in a little bit closer. Guys, it's kind of like blurred my skin it looks like a whole layer has been placed onto my skin and made me look like a glowy smooth goddess i do not rave about primers this is beautiful it's incredible and i really want to see how the rest of my makeup sits on top of it it has definitely drenched my skin in hydration and you do not need a lot of that product first of all i know she's spenny but so far so good let's not jump to conclusions let's see how our makeup sits on top of it okay i am cheating a little bit with this product because i have tried it before but generally it's so incredible and i hope it still lives up to my expectations it's a giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i got mine in shade number six and the way this makes your skin look oh my god i hope it gives me them results again my primer has now set down and can you see how glowy my skin still looks i am going to put a little bit of this foundation on you really do not need a lot it depends on the look you're going for because this is a buildable foundation personally for me i prefer to add less foundation and then build up with concealers for the coverage look at that she blends like an absolute dream oh my god my skin looks incredible am i like tooting my own horn or oh, tooting my own horn or does this generally look as good as i think it does let me zoom you in so you can see the texture on my skin guys look at it i love a glowy base and my skin looks so flawless right now look at this it's just beautiful it has covered up my redness so well and it sat so nicely on top of that primer. This base combo seems to be a match made in heaven. <laughs> I have been getting so bored of my same daily routine and I'm so excited because I generally feel like these could become some of my everyday products. Which means we get to switch out some products. <laughs> this definitely lives back up to my expectations. I hate to be that girl but go to part two because we're running out of time. 